Okay, so here we are doing a slightly grown-up film review. With my mother-in-law! Oh, and there's a very good reason I've we've got... I've got a mother-in-law I like. We're reviewing 120 BPM, which is uh, the latest French film exploring the activist groups involved with the early AIDS. 90s AIDS era. Um, and they were activists that were sort of you know, pressurising and lobbying uh, pharmaceuticals, pharmaceutical companies to be more uh, liberal with their research and it felt like, you know, a lot of these co companies were sitting on research and not actually helping the communities that needed help with. So it was a very important subject matter. You haven't seen it yet, I have haven't you? seen it, but I had high, high hopes for it because I've seen the trailer and it seemed to cover all the bases to me. I mean, it's got the music of the period, which mm. looked fantastic. And historically, it is an absolutely fascinating, important period. It's directed by a chap called Robin Campiglio, who um, was the co-writer of a film I saw a couple of years ago called The Class, which was a French film with uh, non-professional actors set in a secondary school in France. And it was brilliant. So I mean, much. I really love that film yeah. so much. Yeah. It was so great. And he was one of the co-writers on it, so I had very high hopes. This is, I think, his second or third film. My first question is the period they homed in on. Mm. Not the heat and, and 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 awfulness of sort of really the, the early to mid to late eighties, where the sheer horror of AIDS was beginning to become apparent. Yeah. But they've homed in on a period ninety two, which is when the director worked for these the pressure group act up. Yeah. 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 They've homed in on ninety two. I, I couldn't work out why. The French time structure was always different to. Um actually us in America. Was it? Yeah, because the French were the first to call it AIDS. That's right. In yeah. their language, yeah, yes. And they were that. the first people to sort of scientifically prove that it wasn't it didn't come from I mean there were all sorts of theories going yeah. around that it came from monkeys. I mean you can't tell oh, you I the theories that. that were going around. Yeah. yeah. Now that's interesting you say all of that because I didn't learn that from this film. No. I didn't know uh, that no. from this no. film. And I only know that now from you telling me that. And yeah. when I think back to the first time I ever heard of AIDS, I was actually in heaven, you know, the club heaven. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was sitting with a group of people and this very, actually, he wasn't that dissimilar to the central character in this who has AIDS. And he came over and he'd been dancing and everything. He started to manically tell me, mm. I think he might have been a little bit off his head actually, yeah, yeah. manically tell me about this thing that mm. he had and it was this thing called AIDS, it was the first time I'd ever heard it. Yeah. He had this disease and it was going to kill him and he got it from and it was going to kill so many people and I genuinely thought he was just off his tits yeah. and yeah. it wasn't a real thing and then of course and then it became such a massive, yeah. it was a part of our lives all the time, the adverts, the, and I and I suppose part of why I was interested in seeing this film was oh is this going to teach, uh, is this going to be a good sort of documentary lesson almost yeah. about that period in, in in all of our lives. Yeah, well when I saw the trailer and the fact that it was set in France at all and added to the fact that he did the class and I really mm. like the class, I thought, oh, they're gonna, they're gonna sort of explore the fact that it came, that not it came from France, but France were the first people to detail it in mm. what it, what, you know, we, we came to know it as. It, it's actively advertised as being based upon the director's experiences. Own experience, yeah. okay. And the director's own experience is a, a Moroccan French gay journalist. Right. He was working for the ACT UP uh, pressure group mm -hmm. and activist group in the 90s. So it was and yet very. His character isn't in the film. And exactly. So, yeah, his character's not in the film. I personally, I felt going into this, I thought these, these were my hopes. I thought, okay, it's, it's a very specific, rarefied part of the AID story. So, mm. we're, we're going, homing in on not just the French bit, but granted, as I hear the historical importance of that, but we're homing in on 92, so post the intense yeah. kind of. And then we're homing in on the pharmaceuticals companies in France. But only mm. one. But only one. What I was left with was this pharmaceutical company weren't doing something that would have really helped everybody. And it just, but the, but the, but the people from the pharmaceutical company seemed quite benign. Mm. Uh, they come and they meet them where their group meets and they kind of talk to them and mm. nothing, I didn't really ever get to the punchline. Did it talk about ACT UP as an organisation? 
a bit at the beginning. You got a kind of a soliloquy, didn't you? What, but what also them going was. in and interrupt. I mean, the whole point with that yeah. was agitating. Went, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. my problem with it, the film starts with a very dry. You have this one scene that you keep returning to, which is a lecture hall, where all of the varying voices of the act up. Um, pressure group mm -hmm. uh, are vying for attention. Mm -hmm. um, I thought there was a really interesting film to be made about the very different beliefs of different strategies that different activists felt they could have pursued. I thought that was a, a rich oh, thought, okay. but it never really explored it other than in this very sort of it was it felt like a student film where they're all in a lecture hall mm. and they'd kind of say one thing and then someone else would say something and then intercut with that was one of their activist moments where they oh. were chaining a guy to a, 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 a pole throwing fake blood at mm. them and as soon as they cut to that first scene where you saw this sort of act of sabotage happening i was like oh it's really i mean it was just bad i, I i'm sorry to say I wanted to like this film. I wanted to be yeah, moved we by this film. I wanted this film to be the film that all the critics seem to be regaling as as the defining yeah. film of, of a subject that, that we all need to watch. And as I watched it, I thought, well, at the moment, this is really, really substandard. Yeah. It was unengaged. They kept saying, you know, we are here for the junkies, for mm. the um, prostitutes, for the, and all of that. And it was like, yeah, yeah, so tell us about mm. that. Mm. Tell us about... And, I mean, for me all of that all of the politics mm. of it i didn't really learn what i went there to learn no and but what i did get from the film was the love story mm. you got that and i loved yeah. watching yeah. these two men falling in love i thought the performances were fabulous the two central men okay i, I just thought and there's one scene where um the guy who has AIDS, his lover, is telling us the story of his first love. I thought that was and the I cried. strongest scene in the film. Oh. And I, I did cry. It oh. was so beautifully told. Mm. And his truth. I mean, I did think it was a documentary when he was telling me oh, it. Wow. That's how good it was. Okay. Um, and then the central character who had AIDS, he broke my heart 10 million times so it does work on that level so on then. that yeah. level it works and then i'm engaged and then i want to know more and i want to know how these people were let down and i want to do that but it, but i think we could have had both those things in the film I well I, I disagree i think they made a, a fatal mistake right okay. at the beginning i thought they started it they didn't know whether they were starting as a documentarist yeah. discursive oh. slightly journalistic and she said to you is this a documentary yeah, she, she said that oh, to okay. me at the beginning as soon as the human stories kicked in and where we kind of saw authentic acting you know the play mm. they were in their characters mm. it was a very rich film you know it. those moments between the two of them i thought were incredibly story. powerful incredibly tender and however much you do or don't belong to the gay community or you know you, you know you can't the, help the, but be moved you can't help but be moved you couldn't help but the intimacy when he yeah. goes to kiss him and he says i've got a thrush yeah. and he kisses him and, i mean true love true mm. intimacy mm. there at the time that it was happening, I remember the adverts coming out, and I remember mm. being petrified. Yes, um, I remember thinking, "I wish I was a lesbian," because then I. Well, yeah, and I, but I remember thinking, I "Oh God, the safest community." I did. Oh well, that was said. Speech. I said, that "I want to be a said. nun, or I want to be a lesbian," that because was you said. felt everyone was going to get yeah. AIDS. Was there yeah. was that feel? Was there a feeling yes, at the time that you that were pretty Yes, that was said, safe? and some complete separatists, because there were a lot of les uh, feminist separatists at the time, lesbian feminist separatists, Lonely, who said what's that. That sounds confusing. Yeah, no, there were a lot, and. Um, Far more, I don't know about yeah. the situation now, but um, who said we are the safest group? Right, right. We're yeah. the safest group. I remember coming to the kitchen once and saying to you, I want to be a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I genuinely Typical thought, oh Mark, my God, doesn't this want to miss out on anything. <laughs> well, no, 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 but it was the hypochondria. Yeah. My, my grievance with the film is that there is a really great film to be made about, I'd have thought. I don't know the, the details about the way in which pharmaceuticals companies have obstructed, delayed, mm. postponed, I more. being I prejudiced to in the way, yeah, yeah and been manipulative huge, yeah. with the truth. And I went to this film thinking, brilliant, I'm going to be equipped with all this I didn't know stuff about what I have a hunch about that yeah. you know that yeah. they would they would do tests, they wouldn't release the figures, it wouldn't yeah. be economically yeah. viable, it wouldn't be morally what, correct. But Mark, what was that? When was we kept going back to that in the film. What were the figures they wanted? That's what I didn't understand. Well, they were withholding the results of a trial that were having positive results. 
if you're going to make a film with a lot of time spent on that, give us some answers. Well, yeah. And I didn't get anything. Didn't have one, oh my God, didn't moment. Didn't have one, oh my God, moment. And I'm no. the first to be really annoyed yeah. with pharmaceutical companies. Yeah. Yeah. But I just, yeah. there was nothing for me to hang on to and go, this is a disgrace. Yeah. So I didn't nothing. really understand what, what was going on. Well, I find that extraordinary because I haven't seen the film yet. I've seen the trailer and was moved by the trailer but that might have been mainly jimmy somerville's voice um which is, is huge iconic really uh, you can't hold a film to task for not trying to do everything but yeah. you can hold a film to task that's being lauded as doing something when it's actually it doing do... nothing exactly yeah yeah this film i would hazard to say and i hope i'm right that people who will watch this film from the lgbt community will watch it and go yes this is an important film that needs to be made and there is an important film that needs to be made about this, but this isn't it. Yeah. This is not I that film. And I think mm. all the critics are too afraid to be to, to, to actually say, actually, as a film, it's a bit substandard. I mean, the human interest story is this film at its strongest, I think. Yeah. You know, the love affair, the love, the relationship. But even that wasn't entirely successful because this really quite dry, boring, unengaging activism kept interrupting I it. Know. Yeah. I know. He, he attempts to give us the um, the club scene at the time, mm. and that fell so flat, didn't oh, it, Mark? So, well, it, there were about five times. He, 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 create, he tried to create a rhythm mm. where you'd have activism, relationship, clubbing, sex. Mm. Activism, oh, relationship. See, yeah, and okay. so you had, he was trying to create yeah. a rhythm. And whenever we came to the club scenes, having danced my asses off in, in gay clubs, there was no atmosphere. Oh, there was no intensity. There was none of that. There was raw, no raw, that, like, incredible. No, absolutely not at all. The music was sort of at arm's length. Oh. Um, Shot in close up, which made you feel like he was just in a corner of a room. Yeah, it well, felt like you never got that anthem no, feeling. He no. could have achieved just that just with the Jimmy Somerville music. Well, because that's well the Jimmy the Somerville for me, the Jimmy Somerville, the, the Jimmy Somerville Bronski beat track, "Run Away." was his missed opportunity. At that point, yes. I get goose pimples just We're thinking just, of yeah, the tune. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they cut to a shot that's very impressive of all of these lights, I think we're on mm. one of the roads in, yeah. in France or Paris somewhere. The music starts, and as the music starts to build, I'm thinking, hang on a minute, this he's gonna, what he's gonna do now is he's gonna, gonna start cross-cutting to all the real archive of the time, Ooh, from America, that from Britain, been a good idea. From, yeah. from France. Yeah, yeah. And I thought, and I'm getting goose pimples at the montage I thought I'd have edited and put in as the a film. Director, as a director, yeah. he needed to make it international, he needed yeah. to make it universal. Yeah. So I got all the best bits from the trailer, really. The trailer I mean, is the I'm best going bit. to see it now because I'm interested in what these guys Absolutely. say. Absolutely. It'd but... be fascinating if she comes out and says <laughs> complete. We might do a mm. second review, because because, hey, why not? Of oh, when once Dyer's in it. There was one scene which I remember feeling a bit prudish when I came out, and it was the scene when, when they're in the hospital together and, and the main character's close to death. Mm. And I sort of made a sort of flippant comment, like, oh my God, was that the only thing that was on their minds? But you, that really resonated for you, the truth well, of that I, scene. I don't uh, like watching other people have sex uh, at the same, mm. you know, just, but, but it was a, a graphic scene mm. in the hospital. And for me, and, and my stepdaughter hated it as well. You both came out and I said, for me, it was so human. It was mm. so deeply human. It moved me to the point that I had t a tear just rolling down my face. Okay. Because the loneliness mm. and the fear and the how sometimes you can turn to sex in those times when you are at your absolute most frightened or most alone and the connection between these two men. So I do it, have to but, see but it because do... that sounds amazing. Well, no, 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 but the funny thing was, was I kind of lumped that scene into all the rest of the sex in the oh, film. Oh, yeah. And when Nadia said that when we came out, I paused and I thought about it and I thought, actually, you're absolutely right. It was probably the, t the tenderest moment between the two of them. Oh. It was a truly... And now, when I was in the intensity of that lead actor, the lead guy who's on the post, he's on the post. Yeah, he looks amazing, his name. doesn't he? I mean, he was he was remarkable. He's, his energy, his his. And, his and I feel a bit in love with him. Yeah, you know, I should think everybody would do. In the trailer, he says that line: "You either live or you die." Well, and a, that's a great line. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's a great line. Yeah. Well, he's there got is, some really good lines. I mean, when he's asked him what he does, and he says, "I'm, I'm Pov." They call it POV. Oh. And I'm always interested in the way in which uh, pressure groups and activisms fracture off. Having witnessed the lesbian feminist movements and then all the subcategories in those in there, <laughs> um, I was interested. There's a moment in it where they're fly posting under a bridge in Paris, which... and it reminded me of fly posting as a yeah, kid when we used, used to do the to feminist do, yeah. meetings. 
and these rent boys come over to them at one point oh, and yeah. say, don't put these up because this puts, puts our clients off, basically. Oh, yes. And I thought, well, there's a really interesting thing. I would have much preferred a film which really looked at the layered differences. And there was a moment Within referred to it where they said, gay pride won't want us to be at the front going on just about AIDS. And that really did make me think... I wanted yeah, a bit why, more of that. I wanted That's a lot more of that. That reminds me of... Of the, that did happen. That happened here. I can remember that actually happening on gay pride groups here, where it must have come back to us by then, where uh, people said, the people that organised it said, we don't want them at the front. We right. don't want them at the See, front. See, that interested me. Oh. Yeah. That, that, so because that, people will think it's... It's just, it's just what we are. Yeah, it's We're not we just are. AIDS. That's all we are. See, I thought that yeah. schism just wasn't explored, and for me, that's the film I thought I was going to consider. Yeah. There is a film, though, to be made about the drug the drug influence, the drug company influence, because mm. it was huge, and it was huge in France. Yeah. So, well, I, I don't know why... that's what he was trying to do, but he, it, for yeah. me, I didn't get the drug company story well enough. Oh, I got well, a that's where he's failed. I got a love story that yeah. moved me. I was shown intimacy in a different way that I loved, but oh my God, those long, boring, mm. activist chat scenes. Maybe you thought Killed people it. would go... Killed it dead. Killed it. And look at the history of something. But it was an interesting like, history. No, it wasn't. I mean, that's okay. not being disrespectful. It, it, the way it was presented, if there is... A, there is an interesting film to be made and that wasn't it. The critics yes. think this is the film. Oh, and that's yeah. what annoys me is you're going to read lots of reviews that say this is a five star piece of genius. Yeah. It just isn't. No. It just so isn't. if you go and see it, don't be intimidated no. and think I've got to say this you is don't five have star. To it, like is, it. it is flawed. And there's yeah. one shot as a filmmaker where it came out of a clubbing dancing scene and it started to focus on the particles of dust in the club. Mm. And those particles of dust just sat, they suddenly came, became molecules mm. and then became a cell. Wow. And then the cell just sat there. That's fantastic. Now, that 30 second shot out, out, outshone the rest no, of the film. but then it went into the virus. Yeah, that's what I mean, yeah, yeah. And yeah the when, we, when we saw the virus. Oh. Now, oh. it was like that was made and conceived by an entirely a different, different filmmaker. Yeah. But you know what it said to me? It was almost like out of sex, a beautiful mm. thing sex that's quite clever and then actually. it went mm. from the beauty and then it went into this virus and just mm. came out. it was very powerful mm. that was i'd forgotten about it because of all the boring but within stuff. 144 minutes of film 30 seconds of that doesn't help so you can't give us a score out of 10 no. you haven't seen it i don't know what to say Oh yeah, that would be interesting. Because what there were some it? very deep moments for me. Yeah, and you've very spoken beautiful about them. I was touched. I cried. Mm. I don't often cry in the cinema. No, no. I was moved. Can I give two different scores? What I'm going to do is I'm going to say for the score, the score I'm going to give for giving us, supposedly giving us the story of the pharmaceuticals and the politics, I'm going to give a one for the story, the love story, for the performances, for the intimacy that I was shown, for being touched in my heart, I'm going to give it 7.5. So half the film gets a one yeah. and half the film gets okay, a 7.5. Okay, that's very okay. interesting. In its own terms, for the kind of film that I think they were setting out to make, it's a one. I think I thought it was an unmitigated disaster. Mm. Oh, okay. And that isn't a, an, an anti the message or anti no, the no, subject. No, no. I, as a filmmaker, there is a film to be made, this isn't it, and we're all clinging to it like a life raft mm. because it's the only one that's been made yeah, at the moment. Yeah, yeah. For the performances and the truth of the two lead characters' relationship and love, it was eye-opening, moving. It made me rethink so many of the friendships I've had with gay friends over the years. Yes. And it made me think about you and, and I found it deeply moving. So for the for their relationship I would give it eight. Wow. Well, I was going to give it eight. For their, for their, their, relation, it for their relationship, and but interestingly, for that one shot, that one shot will probably oh, stay with me for the rest of my it's rest of my life. Oh. That one shot, magical dust, wow. yeah. moving yeah. into the virus. Yeah. They and lost their way. Yeah, they were too yeah. deep into what they knew, and they didn't show it to us.